My next guest has just released his very first comedy album for United Artists. You're going to love him. Please welcome Mr. Lou Alexander. <laughs> Hey, I love being on the show because it's so informal. It really is. Everybody's so relaxed here. Because I work a lot of tough nightclubs and tough people come in. I worked a club about two weeks ago. It was so tough. A guy walked in one night and he walked over to a piano player. He says, hey, you with the broken nose, play Begin the Begin. He says, I don't have a broken nose. When the Begin, the Begin. <laughs> you know, I realize that I, I think kids are as funny as any comedians. They really are. Kids are the funniest because they don't have to think about what they're saying. Anything a kid says is always funny that they got a clear head. And about two years ago, something happened out here that I never forgot. A little girl about five years old walked over to a pregnant woman. She's about eight months pregnant. And she pointed to her stomach. She said, what's that? Mother says, that's my baby. Little girl says, well, is it a boy or a girl? Mother says, well, it's too soon to tell. Little girl says, well, do you love it? Mother says, of course. I love it very much. The kid said, how come you ate it? Today, I want to discuss something that is about the hottest thing in the country. This is a horoscope book. I guess you could see it. Now, I read something interesting the other day. It said 35% of the people in the United States today believe in horoscopes. Now, I'm not being cynical. Maybe everything in these books are truthful. I really don't know. But I know that people guide their lives by it. People look it up every day in the papers to see what they should do in a daily horoscope. They find out what sign they were born under. They find out if they're compatible with their mate. Now, I really read this book from cover to cover, and there's only one thing I don't understand, and I'll tell you what that is. Here it is. <clears throat> it says, people born in January are gentle. February people are honest. March people are sincere. April people are trustworthy, and so on and so on. Now, what I don't understand is, where the heck do all the rotten people come from? <laughs> Did you know that many famous people in history have made decisions because they're astrologers? Like, for instance, Hitler. Hitler was a firm believer in astrology. And it was once said that Hitler, one night, looked up into the sky and foresaw the doom of Germany. Of course, the sky was filled with B-17s at the time. <laughs> in fact, Hitler went to his astrologer. He says, when am I going to die? And the astrologer says, well, you're going to die on a Jewish holiday. <laughs> he says, what day will that be? And the astrologer says, well, any day you die will be a Jewish holiday. <laughs> I have an idea. Uh, I like to work with an audience, and I like to ask people what month they're born in. It's interesting. You find a lot of different things happening. Uh, what month are you born in, sir? July? Is that cancer? Oh, it is. All right, let's see what it says about you. It's a drag. You got a bad month. It says you're prone to violence and you're sometimes very hard to get along with. I'm sorry, sir. That's what it says in the book. What month are you born in, dear? April. April? All right, let's see what it says about you. April. I got a different page for you. <laughs> Yours is good. It says you're warm, sincere, and loyal. That's nice. Sir, do you realize if your parents got together just a couple of months earlier, you could have been a wonderful person? <laughs> I asked the guy in the audience when I said, what sign are you born under? He looked at his maternity ward. <laughs> Don't laugh. He was held over. I was canceled. <laughs> Let me find out something. Do we have anybody here born between uh, January and February? Are you? Are you an Aquarius? You are? Did you ever look up your sign? Do you know what Aquarius represents? All right, I'm going to tell you what it is. Now, I'm not putting you on about it. It's true. It shows you in a book that you were born under the sign of the water carrier. That's right. And there's a lot of famous people born during your month. There's Gunga Din <laughs> and 500,000 bus boys. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me find out. Do we have a... We have a Sagittarius. It's a man sign. We have a man that's a Sagittarius. Any man? Sagittarius? You are? You look up your sign? No. You know what you represent? 
Uh, I'm not kidding you about this. Archer, I think. Excuse me? An archer. You're right. But you ever notice it shows from the waist up is a man's body and head? Mm. And from the waist down is the back half of a horse? <laughs> <laughs> and, sir, if I knew you a little better, I would tell you which end you represent. <laughs> I'll tell you. The nice thing about it, if your wife doesn't like your job, she knows entering the Kentucky Derby. <laughs> you know, women believe in this stuff more than men. They really do. I took a girl out when I was just about to kiss her goodnight. She says, wait a minute, what month are you born in? I said, June. She says, you're a Gemini. I checked into the hospital. I thought I had a disease. <laughs> and you notice how you look it up every day in the papers and it tells you what to do? Now, whether you believe in it or not, we all look it up in the papers. And I started to get hung up on this stuff. Like one day it said to me, beware of mercury. Beware of mercury. And I was ridiculous. Because while I was looking out for mercury, I got hit by a Mustang. <laughs> Uh, let me ask you, anybody ever been to a seance? I love anything mystic. Anybody ever been to a seance? I have been. You did? You went to a seance? I'll say, I wasn't lucky like you were. There were no women there when I went. There was just eight guys and myself sitting around a large round table holding hands and trying to get messages from the spirits. <laughs> now, I don't know about anybody else there, but I'll tell you one thing. I was getting plenty of messages from the two guys sitting next to me. <laughs> well, folks, my time is up and you have been a lovely audience. And as I go off right now, you don't have to give me a big hand because I am not a ham. I don't care about getting a big hand when I go off stage. But as I do go off right now, let's have a nice big ovation for all the boys in the armed forces. <laughs> We're going to do the improv a little bit different today. Bert and the Blossoms will do one of the tunes that he wrote, which is totally brilliant. And wherever they stop in the tune, uh, wherever the story tells us to do, we will have to start from there and make up a little improv on the spot. Mm -hmm. All right? Okay. He can try. So, he can try. All right. All right. Let's you want to start, start with something? Sandy and Della. All right. We're up first? Sandy and Della up first. Okay. Girls. What's it all about? Help me. to drink like there's no tomorrow and yesterday was a dream, you know. <laughs> What's it all about, Alfie? I am not Alfie. <laughs> You're not Alfie? I am not Alfie. <laughs> Believe me when I tell you that I am not Alfie. Seeing is believing. <laughs> <laughs> Sandy and Lou. All right. Sandy and Lou. Right. 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 Go wrong and lose my way. What's it all about, Alfie? <laughs> Were you sick? Listen, man, you know how I get to San Jose? <laughs> San Jose? San Jose. Yeah, you go down to, you see, a place in the house, you see a tavern where people drink. You take a, a right, a right, you take a right, and you go by six, uh, seven miles, and you see a sign, it says uh, San Jose, and that's it. You speak very funny for Jewish kid. <laughs> okay. Back on, Sandy and Della. What's new, Pussycat? Well, I think the Della Reese show's been canceled. <laughs> Practically nobody ever heard. Unless you saw Promises, Promises. This is a song from Promises, Promises. So brilliant show. Okay, thank you. She likes basketball. How about that? 
we have something in common to talk about basketball. Can I ask you something? Yeah. Is that really Will Chamberlain? No. No. <laughs> no. I, I'm telling you, she likes basketball, and, and I'm so embarrassed. I've, I've been watching her every day in school, and it knocks me out, man. And I love basketball. If I could only have the guts to get up and say hello. You like basketball? I love it. Well, come on. Let's bounce it around some. <laughs>